Hello again, and thank you for joining me today. I have the uh, great honor of being joined by Alexander Eitel, who is the head of marketing and business development for Dunley. Uh, Alexander, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Phil, for having me today. Uh, so Alexander, uh, tell me, um, how has the pandemic impacted the business at Dunley? Well, as you know, we have a lot of operations based in Europe, but also in China. So we made um, quite some experience in China, then moving all the pandemics to Europe. And what we saw is that, uh, first of all, I think on a positive note, there was a lot higher demand for our products. But also we had to take a lot of precautions for our employees. So standard operations were not possible. So we really had to be creative and act fast also to make sure our staff is safe. That for me means I'm working in the home office since already 10 weeks to be sure that those who have to deliver our products, make sure they arrive at the customer on time, really are safe. And that's why I stay at home to reduce the number of contacts at our plants and um, make sure we keep the distance also. I see. Well, that's advanced planning. Uh, tell me, has the has Dunley's business changed at all? And if so, how as a result of the pandemic? Yeah, as I said, we see um, quite some demand increase for uh, CT products and all the modalities like DXR, standard X-ray, which are directly connected with the treatment, but also with the diagnosis of, of COVID. Um, and as we work much more digital, I think that's just in a day-to-day -day operation, a change, um, connecting more virtual with the, with the colleagues, but also with the customers. Uh, I think that has really changed. Uh, but also uh, looking at uh, other modalities, which we serve in MR with magnets, coils. I think there we also see challenges of yeah, fluctuation in patient's volume, but also then also certainly in demand. And if I sum this up, I think we have been challenged by working through demand spikes and increases. Uh, and by that, we have to act much more agile uh, and, uh, and forward looking and really adapting on a daily basis to the individual demands of our customers. How has the coronavirus impacted the Dunley supply chain in terms of receiving the raw materials you need and shipping the finished product? Yeah, so what we saw for Dunley that um, there were certain suppliers which um, that clearly had issues or became into issues with fulfilling all the secondary and third tier uh, equipment and products and components. But I, I have to admit the supply chain team has done an awesome and great job uh, to mitigate the major risk and really have helped us to keep production up uh, and also output is, is as quickly recovered after initial uh, struggles. And um, I, I, I'm very lucky that the team has done a great job uh, to really keep production output high. Um, we see now and then it might be smaller things which are really missing uh, where we have to find creative workarounds and make sure that we, yeah, keep up uh, our supply to our customers where we can really help patients at the end of the day. And what about freight? Uh, simple things like FedEx and DHL, those courier services, are those things still reliable around the world? Yeah, so what we see is, uh, as you said, in freight and shipping, um, we had a period where shipping was really short where we had to postpone all the shipments. But in general, we saw that um, yeah, also with the help of forwarders and carriers, they could find solutions. So I saw them yeah, after initial dip and freeze, um, I would say, come up very quickly and also supply to our customers. So forwarding and carrying has been really reestablished uh, relatively quickly in our case. Do you think that the uh, coronavirus has, uh, is there any silver lining, anything that's happened that you think is positive? 
Oh, yeah, I think there are many things which are positive. Um, I mean, besides all the, the people who had to suffer or had to go through treatment and all the families, um, I think there are many positive things around this pandemics. Um, I would like to start with a personal example first. Um, so I had to spend a bit more time home with my family uh, and my wife and also had a chance to reflect better um, and a bit more time to really go through and to say, hey, how can I improve? How can I work on myself to give a uh, better service to customers also? But also, how can I grow myself personally? So I see this very positive because the whole, um, let's say, family stress or sports or all the, um, the other things you typically do got reduced in, in Europe, where I am based, and gave much more time to really reflect and also find ways to to discover new things so i see it very positive from a personal perspective but also if i look at the business um, i think that uh, in those this pandemic we are actually connecting much stronger even with our partners with our suppliers but also with our customers to really see how we can help how we can make the impossible at the end possible and i think it's a Personally, I think it's a, it's a great achievement to go through that. Uh, and I think we come out at the other side much stronger than we went into this pandemics. Well, that's certainly a very positive uh, outlook. And of course, that's consistent with your reputation. So uh, I want to thank you for joining us today. And we at Healthcare Business News appreciate it. And and we wish you and everyone at Dunley uh, a successful year end.